Hi everyone! Today we are in Rotorua, the thermal city of New Zealand. As you can see, we are blessed with good weather today. People behind me, they are playing croquet. So come and join us as we explore Rotorua. Rotorua is located in the Bay of Plenty region of New Zealand's North Island. In the early 1880s, Rotorua was built by the government as a town for tourists visiting the hot lakes. As we enter the grounds, this building caught our attention. This is the Rotorua Museum, previously the bathhouse. Unfortunately, it was closed due to earthquake safety assessment. It will remain closed to the public for some time. The blue bath opened in 1932 and allowed both men and women to swim publicly together rather than a separate bathing facility. As we strolled around the garden, we saw croquet, the tonk and bowling greens, sculptures, flower gardens and statues. It is a well-maintained garden, a perfect place to unwind and relax. Whakarewarewa Forest is also known as Redwoods or Redwood Forest. It is famous for its diverse range of trees. Entry to the forest is free. There are paid activities such as flying fox and treetop walk where you walk across suspension bridges high above the forest floor. The forest has walking tracks from short to long walks. The paths are well signed and easy to follow. They say that hugging a tree increases happiness and helps reduce stress. So why not hug a tree? We enjoyed walking between the sequoia trees, looking up at the canopy of trees above us. It was worth spending the afternoon in the forest. Eight Street is a haven for food and beverage enthusiasts. There are different restaurants offering a wide range of menus. We had a lovely dinner in one of the restaurants. Great idea to see many eating places all under one roof. We purchased a combo ticket to get the Hell's Gate experience. The package included a geothermal walk, mud baths and a soak in the sulphur pools. We skipped the Maori carvings. We joined a guided tour and according to our guide Hell's Gate got its name from the Irish playwright George Bernard Shaw who came to Rotorua in 1934.
producing about two tons of gas a day. Our geothermal walk took us approximately one and a half hours. Set in a native forest landscape, we soaked in the mud bath after the walk. Apparently, this pool contains revitalizing properties that is good for the body. To test this theory, I slathered mud on my upper body and face and hope for the best. We were given 20 minutes in the mud pool to soak and then we got out and transferred to the cold plunge pool. After the pools, we had quite an appetite. We settled on a Japanese restaurant for lunch. If you want an authentic Japanese cuisine, we recommend this place. This is the end of our travel video to Rotorua. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to click subscribe. See you in our next video. Thank you all for watching. Maraming salamat po.